Facts Now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. We did have overcast skies around this morning and there was some very light snow around this morning as well, but we have cleared out some and right now we do currently have partly cloudy skies on the Great Falls Clinic ICAM. We are currently dry in the electric city. It was definitely a frigid day today. High temperature just four degrees below zero and a low temperature 15 degrees below zero this morning, both of which a well below average for this time of year and temperatures right now are currently around or below zero in most spots. Currently seven below in Lewistown and Stanford, four below in Great Falls, five below in Chodo, five below in Cupbank and two degrees below zero in Chester. Not much in the way of wind right now, which is definitely a good thing, but there is still enough of a breeze around that it feels like it's in the teens and 20s below zero in a lot of locations. And the wind chills are only going to get worse as we go through tonight and into tomorrow morning and we do have wind chill alerts in effect for the entire state of Montana right now. A lot of central Montana is under a wind chill warning, including Fergus County, Judith Basin County, Cascade County, Lewis and Clark County, Western Teton County, Glacier County, Ponderay County, as well as Liberty County up north. And these wind chill advisories and warnings are in effect until 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Wind chills as low as 40 to 50 degrees below zero are going to be possible at times and taking a look at the future wind chills for tonight. Wind chills are going to be in the 20s and 30s below zero for really most of the night tonight as well as tomorrow morning. But then those wind chills will improve some tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evenings. It will feel like it's in the single digits below zero, which is better than what we've seen over the past few days. Tomorrow night it will feel like it's in the teens and single digits below zero. So Wind chills won't be quite as dangerous, but it's still going to feel very cold. And then we'll really see those wind chills improve as we head into Thursday with a lot of locations actually seeing wind chills above zero during the day on Thursday. Now tonight we are going to have decreasing clouds throughout the night, but there are also going to be areas of fog around tonight as well as tomorrow morning. So just be aware that you may run into some areas of reduced visibility. So please be careful when traveling. Outside of the fog tomorrow, you can expect a lot of blue sky and a lot of sunshine around for the entire day. We are going to have increasing clouds as we head into tomorrow night, and there will be a few scattered sun showers around late tomorrow night. And then there will be some scattered sun showers around during the day on Thursday as a Alberta Clipper works its way through our area. This snow is going to be light, so we're really not expecting a lot in the way of snow accumulation, but up to two inches of snow accumulation is possible in most locations that do see that snow. Now tonight it is definitely going to be a very cold night. Lows in the teens and 20s below zero and the wind chills will be in the 20s and 30s below zero for most of the night. Tomorrow will be warmer than it was today with high temperatures back above zero with a lot of locations topping out on either side of 10 degrees. Will be even warmer on Thursday. Highs near 20 with some scattered sun showers around throughout the day. On Friday, it is going to be another sunny day. And those temperatures will continue to get warmer. Highs back near freezing, but the wind will pick up as well and it will be breezy. Heading into this weekend, pretty nice temperatures. Highs in the upper 30s and low to mid 40s with mostly sunny skies on Saturday. Mostly cloudy skies on Sunday and it will be breezy all weekend with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. And then heading into early next week, it will be partly cloudy, it will be mostly dry, and will continue to be breezy to windy, and it will continue to be mild as well with highs in the 40s and lower 50s.